I'm, I'm very, very, very stuck. Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. I just sprained my ankle, but this is my 2000 Hummer H1 that I can't figure out what its purpose is supposed to be because it's not very good off-road, as we'll see in a little bit in this video. The thing's so big that it can't get through most trails, and also, it's a terrible daily driver. Despite its size, you would think this thing could haul 10 people, an entire family, but really there's only four seats in here, four seat belts and well it gets terrible miles per gallon going 70 miles per hour is a struggle in this thing due to its massive size and underpowered 6.5 liter turbo diesel that likes to overheat if you go too fast uh, but i think i have found its true calling and that is crushing cars due to its size and due to the low angle of entry here with the front bumper i think this will make an excellent parts crusher and hauler because once you're done crushing the car you don't need a trailer because of this insane roof rack you can just fork it up onto the roof and haul it right to the scrapper, which is what we are going to do today. I've aptly chosen two Priuses for this adventure because it makes a great shape to drive up and over. And plus, well, it's a Prius. It's the most anti-Hummer car probably ever built. And here they are 10, 15 years old, and they're junked because of their hybrid batteries. These things definitely have an expiration date. Whereas the Hummer, as wasteful as it is, will probably outlive us all. So which car is more environmentally wasteful? I don't know, but at least this one's gonna get recycled into soda cans or something. If I can drive up and over it with my Hummer and then get it mounted to this insane roof rack. So shall we get started? Well, I'd like to thank my friend Urination Bob for making this possible. His business, Urination Auto Inc. Uh, takes in Oop. salvage car. Euro Asian Auto Inc. Sometimes uh, I speak yeah, a little I know too quickly. Um, and you sold a lot of Priuses, you like them, uh, but you're starting to see more and more of these come in for salvage as well. What do you think of them? Well, I mean, you know, when they're coming in for salvage, you know, it's usually the uh, not the car's fault. You know, either they ran it out of oil and they blew up the motor because they have a small oil capacity, you know, but the, uh, well, this is an example right here. This Prius was at one of my dealer car auctions, not salvage, and, uh, and it has 350,000 miles on it. Really? Right. I bought it for parts, but literally it was driven here. So it was still moving under its own power. And this thing lived the hardest life of any car I've ever seen. Well. Uh, it was just brutal and still running drove. So batteries are rebuildable. So really, these cars will be on the road for a long time. So everything I just said is not true. <laughs> but I kind of knew that about the rebuilding of the batteries. Most right. people don't deal with it. So the other right. one, how many miles on it? Oh, that one's got probably 150,000 miles on it. So for all the Prius fans out there, and some of them are here, we're, we're not destroying nice cars. These cars are going to get crushed right. no matter right. what. Right. And the right. purpose is to see if this Hummer is good at being a parts crusher because it's really not good at anything else. It, crushing is probably its forte. Well, let's find out. Hey, you're going to spot me? Yes. Wonderful. Let's do it. All right, Elliot, I'll have you hold the camera while I go up. I know you own a Prius and this is not your favorite thing, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't. This is, this is kind of like I wasn't... having, uh, you know, the kid execute the old yeller right. himself, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure what you brought me here, but this is, this is sick. This yeah. is disgusting to me. <laughs> well, while you're vomiting, just make sure the camera's steady. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do. All right. Now, there is one issue affecting this angle of approach here, and that's this aftermarket winch, which is already scraping on the Prius. Hopefully it doesn't push him, but let's see. We don't want it to push. We want it to climb. Magic school bus. Climb. Upsy-daisy. Oh, no problem. That was too easy. Hey, hit the easy button. This is the hard part. Yeah, coming down is going to be the hard part. But I think we can do it. No problem. There we go. Stop is what he's saying. Uh-oh.
Um, I am locked. You're locked. Your right rear is not turning. Oh. Don't you have uh, a differential locks too? Maybe. You need to lock them all four up. Lock. Well. Lock Lockers. Lockers. I don't know if I have it, bum. It didn't have four lock? I'm just in low gear. I don't see any lockers. Oh dear. We got one. So I'm stuck on the last one here. Thankfully, I came to the right place to get stuck on a Prius. Uh, yeah. Guess we're gonna cut this thing out of here. That'll do. I'm, I'm very, very, very stuck. Life would be so much easier if I could manually lock the diffs, which I think is what I've done in low range, but there's still wheels just spinning. Some are and some aren't. And from Googling, there's just no way for me to make them all roll the same. So I just let me down here. All right, we're lifting from the front now and we're gonna put something in the Prius cario area so I can get unstuck from this. Please don't crush people. We're here to crush cars, not people. Oh yeah. That gets me out of my rut. And hopefully off the Priuses, finally. All right, come on, Hummer. That's what defeat looks like. But one Prius is moving backwards, the other one isn't. So we're about to get in a really bad situation. So we have no choice. The situation has gotten worse because that silver Prius keeps moving back. Now we have one wheel in the air. Well, two wheels in the air, actually, because that one, too. Uh, next try, got these ramps here. We're going to put it underneath the Hummer and hope. Please. Hey, what do you want to do? Got some back. Okay. Got some okay. in there. All right, ramps are in. Forklift coming around back for a push. Please. Please free Willy. Oh, it's good, Bob. Very good. <laughs> no, not really. That was awful. <laughs> but now we have to dispose of one of these Priuses. And uh, I think we can do it solely the Hummer. Hopefully this goes better than driving over them. Holy moly. Well, Priuses, you are incredible pieces of machinery here because look at that pillar in the middle designed to protect the head of the driver and passenger. It is still totally holding. I can roll over. I mean, Elliot, you could have sat in this thing and been totally fine the entire time. We can do it again. You can get a full POV. I don't want to try, I don't want to press my luck here. But let's see here, look. Wow. I've never been more proud to be a Prius owner. Wow. You could have, Elliot, but should have, I don't think. Is no. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20. If I had kept momentum through the whole thing, I probably would have made it. 
if we had put some things in the back, like a few tires, I wouldn't have get caught up in the rear cargo area probably. Uh, and, well, I'm just stupid. I rocked it back and forth and got stuck just like how you would driving in the mud or the snow or something like that. Uh, but hopefully I can do the hauling to the strap a little bit better. Now the reason why I'm pretty confident about doing this is because this roof rack is absolutely insane. Look how thick the metal is and how close together the beams are. I have no idea what purpose this roof rack would be for other than, well, this. So hopefully it goes better because I really don't want to damage the structure of the Hummer, obviously. I haven't done any damage yet. Go for it, Bob. Carnage! Holy moly. All right, two straps, what? two chains. We are not gonna be going fast. We're gonna go 10, maybe. <laughs> yeah. We just have to go right where those flags are across the street, which is across railroad tracks, uh, which is boom, 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 but seems pretty secure. Well, shall we, Bob? Let's shout. Hey, this is like that racing uh, where they put one car on top of the other and then uh, drive it from the top car. <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> uh, we got a semi truck here. Keep on rolling, go and get this way. Hey, everybody's got to play along. I'm still in low range, but I forgot to put it That's out. That's all right. We're not going to probably go up any higher than than low anyway. Okay. <laughs> we get over these bumpy tracks. <laughs> hey, we these, made tra it. these tracks have never felt smoother, by the way. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. This is the smoothest this Hummer has ever been. It just <laughs> needs 3,000 pounds of Prius on the road. Yeah, a little ballast. Well, I'd sure like to thank All Metal Recycling in Wichita, Kansas for uh, pulling off the Prius for me. Don't drop it. Please don't drop it. Oh, God. Hold. That roof just needs to hold a little bit longer. Hold a little bit longer. Woo! Okay. Safe. <laughs> Safe. Thought I was going to. Oh my God. Oh. All right. That is incredible. Okay, flipped it over. From this, for this angle, it feels like he's two inches from my Hummer. Now oh, he's taking out the fuel tank. There he's taking out the fuel tank, or trying to. Prius is putting up a fight. There goes the fuel tank. And now farewell Prius. What a way to go. So it does one thing well. One thing we've discovered. Now let's uh, take it off road and give our final thoughts, huh? Man. are awesome for sure. Great off-roaders, but uh, when we get in the woods, things get pretty tight, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not, uh, not the perfect vehicle for a single track, that's for sure. Well, you sold yours so fast, I guess, well, you're a car dealer, so that <laughs> goes with the territory, right? That's a yeah, good thing. yeah, I mean, it was fun, but, you know, it's a lot of money to tie up, you know, I got to put it into other cars. Yeah. Well, look at this trail, Bob, just point out there. Oh, check it out. It is fun though, I will say. Like, I mean, there is definitely a satisfaction of just running stuff over. We're already in a little bit of a Yeah, you got us in a pickle barrel already. That's just hard left, yeah. Gonna slide into that stump? No, we're clear of it. Because it's gonna start sliding. 
and then I'm going to need a paint job on top of everything else that I've done. Keep rolling. Stay on target. Stay on target. Abort. 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 <laughs> Abort. Oh, hey, cut it to your right. Cut it to your right. Yeah, you chose poorly, my friend. And <laughs> on the now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well this is well, kind here's of the downfall of yeah. ownership versus a Jeep. Yeah. yeah. We're not watch, clear. Your, watch your watch your left. Watch your left, Tyler. What? Watch your head. Oh, gee, yeah, it's yeah, everywhere. Take this mirror off. Oh, stop, stop. Tyler. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We got to correct. Okay. Yeah. This is. Yeah. See, this is why I prefer my via cross over the hummer because yeah. <laughs> the via cross coming through here these we know these mirrors are um, unobtainium so yes the don't take the mirror off please all right there's a big limb coming up in your yeah, i see it in the mirror yeah in the mirror oh my god yeah there probably is no path that this hummer could take to the water no well not to the left that's uh that is the, uh, the... I thought this was the easy path. No, no, that's the tight one for sure. Three-point turn or more with everything. <laughs> well, Bob, I do believe the Hummer is better built for, well, the desert and flexing and even hauling cars to the scrapper, but probably <laughs> not backwoods off-roading, eh? No, I don't think so. You know, the it, it will it will definitely uh, haul a payload. That's for sure. Yeah. That Prius on the roof was uh, was like uh, like your overnight luggage. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's doing pretty good here. I mean, it's just a very fun vehicle. I'm glad that I soldiered through all the pain with it. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> Gotta get out of here, Bob.